Hello everybody, my name is Aftermath and welcome to Good Morning Games News. That's the news you hear every morning when I wake up. However, before I go to the game, I want to acknowledge something. I acknowledge today that I hit 200 subscribers and I want to do a little special about that, but I also have birthday in uh, around 11 hours, when you see this around 10 hours. So I decided I'm probably going to make some, some combination video of 200 subscribers and my 20th birthday tomorrow and give you a little bit of a longer personal message. But to make it really quick, every single one of you is an amazing guy. Uh, or girl. Every single one of you that watches likes and comments on my videos is amazing. Everyone that watches them is amazing and I'm very very thankful for everything. Thank you very much. I have not in any way shape or form thought that I, before the end of February I will have doubled my subscriber count. I have. That is amazing. It makes me really happy. Thank you. But let's get right to the topics. We have the HoloLens. Microsoft does not want it to become another Kinect. We have Smite because Hi-Res finally launches a PS4 version. And of course we have XCOM 2, which apparently had some problems and Firaxis wants to fix them all. Now, that's not what the God Beat Up Simulator. So you beat up gods in Smite, that's well known. Of course it's established as a bit of an underdog on the PC MOBA scene. However, it is currently, currently the only MOBA of worth on the Xbox One. It has its own world championship there and because of that it has a lot of players that actively enjoy in that game. Now, of course, hi -res doesn't only want to do it for the Xbox, it was exclusive, so finally and proudly they announced there's gonna be a PS4 version of it, and the closed beta would start in around one month. There are gonna be founder packs available for around 30 US dollar, where you can get every god that exists now, every god that will ever exist, some PS4 exclusive goodies, and of course some skin money. And as a reference, if you play on PC, it's a lot more than that. Alright, okay. I do not, however, own a PS4, so I asked somebody with a PS4 what he thinks of that. Raiden, what do you think of that? What's a MOBA? Thank you, Raiden. We go to alternative reality, because that's what XCOM 2 is. But XCOM 2 is not really what I want to talk about. Phyrexis is what I want to talk about. The developers said the bugs and somewhat unoptimized menus are their own fault. However... They apparently had no problems on their machines when they were playing it. As, uh, according to an interview with Rock Paper Shotgun, the machines they played it on seemed fine and they did not realize how bad of a problem it was before the game released. Of course, they take, as a very consumer-friendly developer, full blame and say it is still our fault and we're gonna uh, work day and night on it to fix it. Of course, Firaxis has not broken my trust before, so I'm not gonna like uh, praise them too much before those fixes come along. But if the fixes come along, then developers who wait a year with fixes should really take a little bit of a lesson from them because Fraxis really does their job well. I'm very glad that they are in charge of XCOM 2 development and XCOM license in general. But lastly, let's talk about the virtual reality, because Microsoft is, is obvious co obviously a one of the most established enterprises in IT there is, and they are known not to uh, repeat their mistakes, not too much at least. One of the bigger mistakes was to connect, albeit having really strong launch support, it faded away and collected dust afterwards. According to Mr. Alex Kipman, they do not wish to that the HoloLens becomes yet another Kinect. Right now, the developer kit is supported by 12 things for $3,000, and according to his own words, it will be collecting dust after it has done those things. He wants to release it when it's ready for the big market, and he wants to release it when people won't ditch it because of too little support. According to him, that could be either really, really soon, or really far off. Thanks as always for watching, my name is Aftermath, don't forget that you can like, comment and subscribe, it makes me happy, as I said I hit 200 today, and you know what, that's 200 time travelers, the club is full, but you can still become a time traveler, because if you subscribe right now, my new stuff will come 5 minutes early, and I cross uh, time traveling gates in the past as well, if you watch all my playlists, well you see stuff that has not been done in the past, and don't forget that I will be very happy when I read your comments, even if they are hate comments, likes and subscribes will also really just make me very happy and they always put a very huge smile on my face. Now that looks creepy, but I'm the creepy German guy, I'm asking for subscribers. See you guys next time and, well, I guess that's Sunday for you. This format exists at almost a week and I'm kind of happy with it, so I hope you are happy too. Goodbye.